So I'm walking the dog and because most of you are hanging out at home waiting out this virus in the moment and you guys don't know what to do now you can watch me do how I train my dog and today we are looking for a wall the real wall and on that wall I'm going to train the dog how to walk backwards and I hope you enjoy this so it's a great training to teach your dog to walk in reverse and you use a wall or a fence to make the dog walk straight in a straight line so they practice this walking backwards straight backwards there's a muscle memory that they build up so that they are able to walk in a straight line backwards it's down Back, back, good, oh, oh, oh. Stay there. good, forward, it's down, so I go back here where the feet are, okay, so I'm going to right here, good, back, So when she steps with her left foot out this way, then I could step on it. So when I go back, you know, that's why it's easier to shuffle back. But if she then goes behind me, then we go in circles. We want to avoid that. So we want to stay close to the wall. That means I can push her against the wall. Yeah, go back. Come on, back, back. Very good. Forward. It's down. Sit, sit. And stay. Don't move. Stay. I'm going to take the camera over here. And we see everything here. From this side, let's see how that looks. It's down. Good. Forward. So that's basically how I teach her to go backwards and we have to do this a couple of times to make this work really good. Now her tail is so long when she goes back she steps on it so when she gets older the feet, the legs grow longer and then she doesn't step on her tail. Some dogs have a short tail, it doesn't matter but the long tail when she steps on her own tail this makes her not to that she doesn't want to go backwards okay we want to try the straddle thing too come on let's go here you stay stand and then we go over like this and then we straddle come on. oh too fast there like this straddle right very good very good good job slow no no slow don't slow. So she has to get used to slow movement. <laughs> she absolutely doesn't like it. She thinks we are playing. So we need to get used to this kind of stuff. Stand if we want to do the straddle. Stay. Good job. Good job. You did good. Good, good. Are we stretching? Come on, let's go. Straddle. No. So that's why we we are going to use a choke collar. When she backs out of this, it cannot slip over her head. That's the thing with it. 
<clears throat> okay, heal. Well, the reason why she's so jumpy and acting weird, because she doesn't know what this is, right? It's like a dominant thing to step over it. And she doesn't know what's going to happen. And she doesn't like that. Straddle forward, stand, straddle back, back, slow, slow, down. Good boy, down. Ooh, heel. I'm going to show this quick here with the this show collar. You don't have to whip on it. So this dog is trained so good now. Uh, Lucy, heel, stand. No. What are you doing now? You think you are on camera and you have to lay down or what? Come on, stand. Good, stay. Stay. Good girl. Good sit. That's a good girl. Are you tired now? Did you work too much? Hmm? Did you work too much? Wow, that was so much work for you, was it? Lucy, speak. Oh, good girl. There was even an echo. All right, let's go home. <laughs> 